Welcome to day 10. Today we are going to talk about the compensation plan. So I know that a lot of people are overwhelmed when they look at the grid on the compensation plan in your catalog. This is on page 61. Um, if you have a catalog, I do want to encourage you to grab it now. You can pause this video, grab yourself a catalog um, and have a look at this. We're going to go through this. Um, and I wanted to also let you know that in the printable section of the description, um, you are going to find a written out um, format for the compensation plan. Um, this is something that I had when I first joined my um, startup guide, actually had it written out. And I personally just find that it is so much easier to understand when it's written out instead of in a grid. Now, one thing to know is that once you understand the compensation plan, it's actually a very simple system. It's getting to the point of having that kind of aha moment before you can understand it. And so I do um, I do want to acknowledge that looking at it in a grid format does seem a little bit overwhelming, um, but we're going to go through it and I'm going to share um, with you based on this printable. So if you have a, um, a printer close by, um, pause this video and print this off because I think you're going to find it a little more um, valuable to read it alongside looking at it in your catalog. OK, so first and foremost, I think it's very important that you understand that um, one of the things that I love about having the compensation plan right there in the catalog, even though it is a little bit confusing, um, is that we at Sensi in general, they don't hide what we earn. And I actually find that that is a real selling feature um, for the business. I was not somebody and I'm, I'm still not somebody who would have asked someone to explain it to me. But when I saw the catalog, you better believe I tried to understand it because I was like, wow, this girl can make money doing this. How do how does that happen? So um, it's important to know that it's so nice that we have a company that is just very authentic and just puts it out there and lets people see um, how much we can earn. So um, it is also a good way to open up a conversation if people are interested in um, learning about it. So let's look at the compensation plan, grab your catalog, and we'll start right at the top. Um, you can see that it has the compensation plan for the monthly responsibilities. And then underneath that, you're going to see the monthly rewards. Um, then you're going to look across the columns and you're going to see it goes by title. Okay. So when you see there, um, it says essential consultant. If you scroll down to the monthly re rewards, they earn a 20% um, commission on standard PRD. Now you'll see there is a line under there and that was commissioned from a Sensi Club referral um, PRV. To be totally honest with you, I'm not sure if that is uh, in play at this point in our business or if it's something that's coming down the pipeline. Um, I honestly don't have the answer to that one. So we're gonna just skip that line for right now. Um, then you can see that we have, um, it. it's circled and it says, once you sell 1000 PRV, you are certified for life. Um, and then down below it says, um, get certified ASAP for a 5% increase. Now, one of the things that um, is not explained here, but is valuable to know as you are training your future team members is that it is a lifetime goal. Once they hit 25%, it never drops back down to 20%. Now, this is a key um, thing to know because there are a lot of companies out there that they have to actually earn their new titles every single year. So at the beginning of their, um, I don't know if it's their the calendar year or if it's from their anniversary date of when they joined their company. Um, I believe it's a calendar year, but I'm not 100% sure the, the company I'm thinking about off the top of my head, um, where they can work up to a certain percentage and then it restarts back down at the bottom again and they have to work their way back up and it starts again and they work their way back up. And so this is a key piece of information that you want to have in your back pocket when you're speaking to people about doing Sensi with you is that um, once they hit 25%, they never drop back down to 20%. Never, ever, ever in their lifetime will they drop back down. Um, so that's a really important piece of information just to know right off the top. Um, okay, so scrolling over, um, you're going to see certified consultant. It says one um, 1,000. Um, they're going to earn a base commission of 25%. Okay. 
next column over, you're going to see a lead consultant. Now, here they have the minimum requirements, okay? So it says monthly responsibilities. So if you are a lead consultant, in order for you to be paid as a lead consultant, so that's what we refer to as your rank. So your title could be lead consultant, but your rank, you might only get paid as a certified consultant, okay? So that's why it's uh, separated in this way so that you can understand this. So they have to have 500 PRB, um, minimum. Of course, they can have a thousand or two thousand, which we would encourage. Um, and then their group wholesale volume is one thousand GWV. So, just to um, let you know um, if this is new to you or you've always been a little bit confused by the compensation plan, GWV refers to your whole group, uh, TWV refers to your whole team. So, until you hit director, TWV and GWV are the same thing for you. Okay, so if you've been confused all this time, hopefully that just cleared it up. Um, but your TWV and GWV, they're the same until you hit director. And we'll talk about that when we get there. Okay, so they do need to have one active frontline. Now, I will tell you that one active frontline, if they're only doing the 200 PRV minimum, you're not going to hit 1000 TWV. And that's really important to understand. OK, um, so when you're training up your team or if you are a certified consultant today and you want to promote to lead consultant, um, this is important for you to know that if they are just active, you're not going to hit those numbers. So you will be paid as a certified consultant, not as a lead. You have to meet these minimum requirements. So I would really encourage you to have three or four even five team members to hit lead numbers consistently, okay? So one is really there, you can probably hit a title one time as a lead, um, but if you are, sorry, with only one team member, but if you don't have more coming down the pipeline, it's you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna get disappointed because you're not gonna be hitting those numbers consistently. So the name of the game to really start making money with your Sensi business is certainly to continually recruit. OK, um, so now if you go down, so if you've hit those minimum requirements for that month to be paid as a lead consultant, you are going to earn 25 percent base commission. Like Again, you never go down from there. You're also going to earn a 2 percent bonus on your own personal TWB and you're going to earn, earn a 2 percent bonus on essential or certified TWB. Okay, so the thing here is that if you are a lead consultant and you have somebody under you who is a star consultant, you will not get paid on a star consultant. You will not even get paid on a lead consultant. You have to stay one rank ahead of the people in your downline in order to be paid on them. Um, I do want to say, um, I know I have said in the past, you I want you to learn to look things up by yourself. But the compensation plan is something I'm very passionate about. If you if this is making no sense to you whatsoever um, and you're trying to follow along and you still have questions, please drop them below. It's very, very important that you understand how you get paid in this business, especially if you're doing this program program on uh, learning how to get paid with your Sensi business. It is important that you understand how that pay is calculated. OK, so. If you're a lead consultant, you will see on right here in the list, you do not get paid on lead consultants under you, okay? They do contribute to your TWV, but you don't get paid on their TWV, okay? So bear that in mind. Um, now, before you get frustrated and think, well, what would be the point of me recruiting for 2%? It's really nothing. Let me assure you that this number grows and grows and grows over time and over the years. If I had just been going based on my first year, maybe I wouldn't be a consultant anymore. Um, but you have to look at what I have done in the last almost 12 years, how much money I've made. Starting out at this 2% has certainly been valuable for me. OK, so it, you have to remember that um, making money with your Sensi business is a long game. Okay, you're learning the best business practices through this little program that I'm putting together, um, but you do need to stick to it in the long term to see big financial gains long term. Okay, you're not going to get them this month. You're not going to get them next month, but come the fall, that's why I'm doing this in this time of year. 
by the fall, these numbers should be, you should be um, established in understanding this information. You should be established in your recruiting and your promoting and helping your team to promote. Um, and that that's when you're going to start to see that real return on investments. Okay. Um, I do encourage you. I mean, just off the top of my head, if I was going to say, if you just joined Sensi and you just landed in this program, you really do have to give it intentionality for two to three years, and then you'll start to see some big impact. So if you think that you're going to get rich overnight, you're not. And whoever told you that, uh, I'm sorry to tell you that they were lying to you. You're not going to get rich overnight. You do have to treat this like work. You have to put in some hours, and then you're going to have that return on investment. And it will be far more than if you were to get a traditional day job um, and expect to get pay raises every quarter or every, you know, um, semi-annually or every year. Um, this is going to far exceed that. If you are willing to stick to it and continue to be consistent with your business, you do have to be consistent. I cannot ex explain or um, emphasize that enough. You have to be consistent, not only with your sales, but also with your recruiting and with your um, helping your team members. The more you help your team, the, the better you're going to be as a leader, as a cheerleader, as somebody who is making money. Um, you'll be opening up doors to be able to, you know, maybe if you work 50 hours a week like I did, maybe you'll be able to drop down to, you know, 30 hours a week. Maybe you can go from a full-time position to a part-time position and maybe from a part-time position to a casual position while you build your Sensi business. So really look long-term. Um, this is a long game. You have to really be committed to doing the work or you're not going to start making the money that you want to be making with your business. Okay. Now let's go over to star consultant. So a star consultant needs 500 PRV minimum. Um, they need 2,500 TWV slash GWV. Remember, it's the same for now. Um, and two active frontline. Now, I will tell you, unless you consistently are putting in over 2,000 PRV as a star consultant, you're unlikely to hit um, those bigger um, TWV with only two team members. So what it's saying is you have to have two active frontline, but your goal is also to teach your team to recruit, which we are going to cover in another video. Um, but you're, you're basically learning something so that you can teach something. So you're going to learn how to recruit so you can teach to recruit. Okay. So TWV is everybody in your downline, whether they're your frontline, a frontline refers to somebody you personally have recruited. Downline refers to anybody who your frontline have recruited. Okay. So you might have a group or a team of 20, but you personally have recruited five of them, but the other 15 have been recruited under your team. And that's a great strategy. You really want to grow your business to be very deep as well as very wide. Okay. Um, so here you're going to have your 2,500 TWV. Now I would say you want to have a team of between five and 10 people in order to be paid consistently as a star consultant. Okay. Um, now going over to superstar consultant. Oh, sorry. The, the, um, rewards for that is your 25% base commission. Um, plus you're going to earn a 4% bonus on your personal TWV, a 4% bonus on your frontline essential or certified TWV and 2% on your frontline lead consultant. So because you are now a star, you are paid on your leads. Okay. So again, you're staying one step ahead of the people in your downline. Okay, so superstar consultant, you need to have 500 um, P, uh, PRV. Um, at star, superstar consultant, I'm going to say you're going to start wanting to have a minimum of 1,000 PRV. Um, just being realistic, 1,000, 1,500 PRV should be your target, okay? Um, I know that Sensi is very generous when they say 500, but I'm trying to teach you how to be successful. Um, and in order for you to really start growing your business and being more and more successful, you do have to challenge yourself out of this 500 PRV minimum. It really needs to be a minimum 1,000, um, 1,500 is going to be better for you to be consistently paid a title. Okay. Um, you need to have 6,000 TWV slash GWV, and you need to have three active frontline. Again, same as star consultant, you need to have way more than three um, active frontline in order to be paid consistently at title as a star, a superstar consultant. Um, you're probably looking to have about 15 people um, in your team, 15 to 20, in order to be consistently paid as a superstar consultant. 
Okay. Then you're going to earn your 25% base commission, 7% on your personal TWV, 7% on your frontline um, essential and certified TWV, 5% on your frontline lead consultants, and 3% on your frontline star consultants. Okay. So again, everyone who's under you, um, the more that the higher their title, the more likely you're going to be hitting your title because for if you have a star under you who's hitting 25 uh 2500 TWV or if you have two stars and they're each hitting 2500 that's 5000 TWV you need 6000 to be paid as a superstar consultant so you have the extra 1000 that you're going to be working toward okay does that make sense um again if you have questions this is not the the video to listen to and watch and have questions and go to the next video. It's very important that this is very clear to you. And if I need to explain it in a different way, um, then please let me know. But that is why I have this one that is written out that I've uploaded to the printables because I find it easier to follow this one than the, comp uh, than the grid. I understand them both, but this one definitely is easier to understand what the requirements are and what the rewards are, okay? Now we're gonna move into director. I'm gonna stop a director. If you have questions about star director or superstar director, I wanna encourage you to speak to your star director or your superstar director, um, but I'm gonna stop at the star uh, director, sorry. I'm gonna stop at director. Um, and the reason for that is it, it's very similar, um, but there is a break in the TWV and the GWV. Remember I said that. So as a director on here, you have to have a minimum of 500 PRV. I will tell you that in my experience, you as a director, you need to be aiming for 2000 PRV every single month. Now, before you give up on me and you say, this program isn't for me, I can't do this. I wanna remind you that 2000 PRV is only 100 PRV each day, Monday to Friday, every month. So stop overthinking it, stop talking yourself out of it, stop telling yourself a story that you don't do 2000 PRV because future you does do 2000 PRV. And it's important that you are showing up for future you, okay? So again, since these requirement is 500 PRV minimum, I am telling you that in order for you to be consistently paid at title, as a director, for you to be consistently working your business, you're going to have to aim for 2000 PRV every single month in order to hit your numbers, okay? Now, you'll see that you need 10,000 GWV. That means your whole group of people, everybody under you, you need to be hitting 10,000, okay? Uh, now, your team wholesale volume, this is when it breaks, and that is because oftentimes, at around this stage, you, because you're an amazing leader and you are teaching your team to do what you're doing, you might have a, a director or two pop out from underneath you, okay? And so um, they contribute to your group wholesale volume because they're still in your family tree, um, but they're their own directors at that point. And uh, if you are a director, you need to have your team Okay, so everyone who doesn't have a director under them or is a team, okay? Um, then I might need to grab the whiteboard actually for this, but um, to help you understand that. So your, your team is everyone who you are their director and everyone who has a director is your own little team, but they're still part of your group. They're still part of the bigger family tree. Now, let me see. I only have, I don't have a dry erase down here right now. I had to move them. Okay. Uh, let me see. Sorry, I should have planned this out, but I, as I'm talking, um, because I'm a visual learner, sometimes it's just easier for me. So I am going to show you like this. And I don't know if it'll dry erase off of here. So I'm going to write it on sticky notes. Okay. So here's me, um, or you can write you. <laughs> because I want you to be visualizing this. This is you, okay? So there's you, and then you have your front line. I'm gonna put FL so that you understand what front line means. So here's Sally, she's a front line. And here's Dave, and he is a front line. Okay, and then um, I have I'll just say Jen, even though that's my name. I'll just say Jen. 
she is a frontline, but she is also a director. So she's met the requirements to hit director. And so Jen is a director, but she is under me. Okay. So here's you and here's three frontline, but this one happens to be a director. Okay. So they're all in your group because they're all here, but these two are your team because they don't have a director in between you. Okay. Does that make sense? So this is your team. This is your group because once you hit director, you bump out and you're part of a group. You're your own team. Every director is their own team. Okay. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. Um, so then going back to the compensation plan, you're going to see that you need 10,000 for the whole group and 2000 for your team. Okay. So the more downline directors that you have, the higher up your GWV will be because every director to be paid at title needs 10,000. So if you have a downline who's doing 10,000, you need to have that's your GWV is already filled and you still need to get your 2000 TWV, your team wholesale volume. Okay. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that you still need to have your three active frontline. I assure you three active frontline is not going to pull off these numbers for 2000 TWV. At this point, you want to have a team of a, approximately 25. Okay. So if you have a downline director and she has a team of 25, you yourself want to have a team of approximately 25. Okay. Now these are not um, numbers that are provided to us by Sensi. These are, this is me telling you, me sharing with you my experiences over the almost 12 years I've been doing this, the most successful people, I'm telling you their best business practices. So 25 is probably around the number you're going to look for to be consistently paid at title as a director. Now, if you get paid as a director one time, sure, you have the title of director, but if you're not getting paid on it, then it's a little bit of a moot point. Now, one thing I do want to mention to you, as you're looking down the compensation plan and you're seeing all those numbers for director, um, is that because you are a director, this now introduces you to being paid on someone who holds the same title as you. OK, so the more you can bring up directors, the better it's going to be for you. Um, just as a side note, in order for you to be paid consistently as a director, you need to be working with your team. Like I've already said, you, you do need to work with your team and you, the more you help them, the better you're going to be as a leader. Um, but if you help 10 people um, hit lead numbers every month, then that's 10,000 GWV. OK, if you help four star consultants hit their numbers every single month, that is 10,000 TWV or GWV. Sorry. So bear that in mind. This is not all being done by you. This is you and your whole team working together. And the bonuses that you are paid is for working with your team. If you are not working with your team, it will show and you will not get your bonuses because you will not be hitting your numbers because you're not helping them. OK, so here's the rewards that you get as a director. You get your 25 percent base commission. That's for all titles. Um, then you're going to get a nine percent bonus on your personal TWV, a nine percent bonus on your essential and certified T frontline TWV, seven percent on your frontline lead consultant TWV, five percent on your frontline star TWV. 2% on your frontline superstar consultant TWV. And here we have it. You earn 3% on your frontline director TWV or director Q. Director Q is when somebody hits director and they don't meet the minimum requirement of 10,000 TWV, 500 PRV, and three active frontline for um, three months consecutively. OK, so after three months, if you so that's why we want to um, I am training you to be a successful business owner, not a flash in the pan director. OK, so what I mean by a flash in the pan director is somebody who goes, 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 goes like maybe you do a huge fundraiser and you have it planned. So you're going to hit 10,000 GWB in a single month. Well, guess what? That's awesome for that one month. But long term, you're actually going to get really frustrated because you're not going to be able to hold that title and hold those numbers. Director is the only um, or not the only, but directors and star directors and superstar directors. They're the only titles that they can drop their titles. 
Okay. So when you hit director, if you don't hit your the minimum requirements that are listed there, your monthly requirements for three months, you will drop down to what is called director qualified. That means you're in a qualification period to re-hit your numbers to hit director again. Okay. So director Q is quite common, um, especially for people who don't understand what I am teaching you, um, how to build a strong, sustainable business. Okay. I am teaching you to not have to drop into DQ. I am training you on how to hit your numbers consistently, grow consistently, be paid every single month consistently. So, um, when you have been in director Q for, um, another three months. So you have three months to hit it. When you don't hit it in three months, you hit director Q qualified. So then you have a three month qualification period. If you don't hit those in that three months. So now we're at a six month total, right? So director Q for three months. Um, if you don't hit those numbers, then you will drop back down to superstar consultant. Okay. Um, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens quite often, but the reason that you're doing this program is to learn how to not fall into director Q, how not to fall to superstar consultant. The reason is it takes a um, emotional and a mental toll when people see something that they have been working so hard to achieve drop back down. And I have a lot of people who will say, well, I don't want to hit director because I'm not going to be able to be consistent at it. Well, that's kind of a stinky attitude to have, if I'm really honest. Um, if you do what I am teaching you, you will be consistently paid at title. You have to make it all about helping your team. If you make it all about you, like, hey, I need you to place an order to, for me to get something, that's awful. I, I really hope that that has never crossed your mind. I hope that you've never had anybody in your upline ever reach down to you in that way. It is a commitment that I make to people when I'm talking to them about doing Sensi with me. I will never follow up and make sure that somebody is placing an order for my selfish ambition. That is not the Sensi way. So that is not what I train. That is not what I teach. You are in this program to learn fundamental skills that are going to help you to be a strong, strong leader. You have to be able to um, have the um, grit to keep going at it, even when things don't feel like, like you don't feel like working or it doesn't feel like it's, it's getting anywhere or it doesn't feel like you're being successful. You have to continue and have the tenacity to show up for yourself every single day, show up for future you. If you want to be a director, you need to show up today as if you are a director. If you want to be a star director, you need to show up today as if you are a star director. Okay. You have to show up as a person that you want to be in the future. So if you decide that you don't want to work today, you have to ask yourself, is taking today off worth it to future me? And if the answer is no, you have to set a timer for 15 minutes get the job done in 15 minutes and then you're done. If you have extra oomph in you and you can do 30 minutes, that's even better, but you do have to learn to show up for yourself. Don't be someone who lets yourself down. Okay. So those are, that's took us to director. You can of course look at star director and superstar director, and you can see it in here as well. Um, one of the things that was really impactful for me and I don't want you to be quoting me on this um, because these are numbers that came out a long time ago before I became a director in 2012. Um, this was a, these were numbers that came to me and they just shook me. And I was like, what? Wow. Um, and so you, you are not going to be able to find these numbers anywhere. The training was done years and years and years ago. Um, I remember it was a girl, her name was Chili. I don't remember her last name. Um, she did a, um, training call and she shared on the all consultant call, what the average, um, the average pay was for these titles. And it stuck with me so much. And it was one of the reasons that I decided to really go all in when I was working. So I'm going to share those numbers with you now, but please remember your income disclosure statements for more details. Um, and don't quote me on these because like I said, I, I don't have 
um, access to these anymore. But what I can tell you is that these numbers have rung true for me and my organization. My whole downline um, consistently are paid at these levels or a little bit more um, because I train people how to run a strong, successful, sustainable business. Okay. So here are the numbers. Um, almost 12 years ago, I heard that on average, directors were earning a thousand dollars a month. On average, star directors were earning $5,000 a month. And on average, superstar directors were earning $10,000 a month. So I want to let that sink in for a minute. And of course, that means paid at title, paid at rank. Okay. So if you are a superstar director, but you're getting paid as a director, you're earning director average income. Okay. If you are a star director, but you're being paid at rank as a director, you're earning on average director pay. But I want you to really ask yourself, write this down, think about this for the next few hours or the next few days or whatever. I've been thinking about it for almost 12 years. Um, what would a thousand dollars do for your family? What would $5,000, what would that mean for your family? $5,000 a month. What would $10,000 a month mean for you and your family? I really, really want to challenge you to think about that because there are going to be days when you show up in your office and you're like, I don't feel like doing anything today. And I want you to stop and I want you to think, but if I was earning $10,000 a month, that would mean what? What would that mean? That would mean you could take your family on an impromptu vacation to Disney. That means that you could have all of your cars paid for in cash. That would mean that you could um, pay your mortgage off in X number of years sooner than you're currently set up to do. Think about what would that money do for your family? And a lot of people, when I say what motivates you, if they say money, that's not true. That's not true. It's what the money will mean for you and your family. So I really, really want to challenge you to think about that today. If you're sitting there and the first thing that crosses your mind is I could never be a superstar director, I want to tell you that you won't. If you have the mindset, this goes back to our video on day one. If you have the mindset that that is something that is for other people, but not for you, you're going to manifest that. I don't even really believe in manifesting, but if you believe that that is not going to happen for you, it will not. If you can look at me and you can go, dang, if Jen can do it, I can do it. You will do it. If you continue to put in the work, if you have the tenacity to show up every day for yourself, if you decide today that you're not going to let future self down by not working today, it can make the biggest change in your entire life. I want you to think about that. So directors are earning on average $12,000 a year. Okay. Star directors are earning on average $60,000 a year. And superstar directors are earning on average $120,000 a year. I want you to think about that. So the days that you are not sure if you can make money doing Sensi, that's why you're in this program. I want to encourage you to stick around as we continue to work our way through. I'm sharing with you the best business habits that I know of. I'm sharing with you the business habits of the successful people who I have spoken to. I'm sharing with you from looking down into my organization and seeing the consistency and knowing what people are making because they're not willing to give up on themselves. So congratulations on being with me today. Thank you for showing up for yourself. And I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video.